Cookie, you've got to be happy with the genetic progress that you're making here. Yes, Ben, uh, extremely happy with our uh, sale lineup for 2016 and across our whole herd. Um, to wean these calves before they're six months of age and see what they've grown through to to now is just uh, continues to amaze us, Ben. And tell me, the fertility of your herd and the genetic progress that you're making in your females, that's got to be really important to you as well. Yeah, well, uh, you know, breed plan does back that up. It shows that, uh, you know, we are continually uh, improving the genetics of our herd, but uh, we certainly don't take away from all the other things, temperament, structure, they really are so important as well. But uh, yes, we're improving the genetics of our herd, but we aren't forgetting about the other important factors as well. The other thing I've just got to compliment you on, the, the temperament of your bulls um, is, well, in my experience, it's got to be some of the best in the country. Yeah, well, you know, uh, I don't know what how other people handle their bulls, but uh, these bulls don't get a lot of handling through to, you know, the last couple of months before sale, I suppose, and uh, they're, uh, yeah, we're extremely happy with them. Look, I can send my 15-year-old uh, daughter out to, uh, you know, to bring these bulls in, and uh, I I'm, you know, quite confident that there's never any problems while she's doing it. I've got to compliment you on the lineup of bulls. I think it's the most even and consistent line of bulls that I've seen at Rangat. Yeah, look, we're ex again extremely happy with them, Ben. We're so hard on what we like here, and uh, that's to see thickness in our animals. And anyone that comes here and sees this draft will see that thickness and, and stoutness that we do love in our cattle. That goes through to our wieners that we sell in the wiener markets. Uh, that, that's something we really do like and something we breed in our animals and anything that doesn't come up to scratch, we certainly get rid of. And tell me, the F21 line of bulls, um, just as a specific uh, line of bulls, oh, they, they're thick, they're soft, they've got plenty of fat cover, uh, they're all the, the, you know, heavy in carcass. They're a fantastic lineup of bulls by a homebred bull. Yeah, I'd say that, um, yeah, they're certainly, uh, as a group of bulls by the one sire, they're certainly probably the best group of one sire bulls we've ever put up. And uh, that was the reason we kept semen in that bull, is because uh, he was a pin A showgirl, which, um, yeah, showgirl just stamps her, you know, her type on, uh, on these bulls, and uh, having pin A there, adding that French carcass and muscle, uh, has been a great combination and uh, anyone anyone who sees that line up the bulls will certainly agree with us I believe. And tell us about some of the other genetics. Look some of the other genetics in the sale Ben there's a new uh, sire into the sale uh, a Canadian sire Merritt Roundup who's uh, who's bred some very nice uh, sale bulls to be quite honest and uh, he's a bull we'll continue to use in our herd. Uh, we've got uh, some bulls by a homebred sire G91 who uh, he also uh, stamps his thickness and softness into his progeny and a real lot of carcass and carving ease in that bull as well. Uh, Western Edge is there and he's a bit of an old favourite and uh, there's some very nice bulls by Western Edge and uh, I'm sure they'll suit a lot of programs as well. Well Cookie, congratulations again on a fantastic lineup of bulls and good luck for the start. Yeah, thanks Ben. Uh, look, uh, we're extremely happy with the draft and uh, we'd just like people to come and out along and have a look at them, to be quite honest. It's always a great feed, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I won't trust my mates with uh, steak, so they're going to cook sausages again, I can tell you. <laughs>